so I'm just going to read a couple paragraphs from uh, this fictional book. Uh, currently, the main character, Ray, has uh, traveled back in time to talk to a former MLB player. Um, the MLB player goes by the name Moonlight Graham, or Doc. <coughs> uh, Moonlight Graham, I whisper. Well, no. You must be a fan of the game to know about that, he says. I'm Ray, and I suppose that wouldn't be a bad description of me, a fan of the game. You're not from around here, he says, measuring me carefully. Nope, from Iowa. I've been there. Took a train down to Iowa City once. To a medical center. They have some fine equipment there. And once for a council's bluff. Uh, the Blue Streaks are playing in a tournament. Baseball, I said. No, basketball. Baseball's not big up here. Season's too short. Football's the name of the game. But you learn to adapt. Any game becomes important when you know and love the players. Um, I'm from near Iowa City. I farm a little. And I own my own baseball field, as I say, and I swing a step behind him. We head north on Lake Street. Who are you? Doc says, eyeing me scrutely. Ray, I'm interested in baseball. I wanted to ask you some questions. Then it wasn't an accident you were waiting on the street for me. Uh, I've been out walking, and I had a feeling you might appear. Appear? That's a funny word to use. How could you know I wouldn't be able to sleep tonight? You're flopping like a fish, Alice said to me, and she was really happy when I got up and got dressed. Going for a walk, I said, but she had already turned over and gone back to sleep. I had this feeling in there. When I woke up, a pull, like a magnet somewhere, was drawing me slowly towards it. Are you that magnet, Ray? I don't know. Perhaps we were just meant to talk for a while. We turned the corner and head east on Lake Street. The newspaper office is across the way. And I think of the portrait of Moonlight Graham, which until today, slept in the shadows of the top shelf of the filing cabinet, or did it. As we walk, I notice subtle distances, differences in the buildings on the sidewalks. Some of the newer houses on 2nd Street seem to be even replaced by older ones. There are business signs along the street that weren't there yesterday. Can I be the one who had crossed this magical line between fantasy and reality? That is it. Doc is the one on solid turf, and I am the one who has stepped into the past effortlessly, chasing a butterfly across the meadow. I glance up at the water tower that watches over the town like a benevolent alien. It shines in the moon glow like a giant thimble. But there is no writing on it, while yesterday it advertised the Minnesota Museum of Mining. You have had to go on way back to dig up that name, Doc says. I haven't been called Moonlight Graham in nearly 15 years. It was one of those things I left behind when I came to church home. Kind of like putting my toys away in the box in the closet. I can count on the fingers on one hand the number of people I've talked about my playing days. It was someone else who dug that up. I used to play for the Giants. I never mentioned it to anyone. Did a big story on me in the newspaper. It was kind of embarrassing. I mean, if you're a fan, then you truly know how much I played. I know, I say. I want to tell him about the line of statistics that came across the scoreboard in Fenway Park. I wanted to tell him about the baseball encyclopedia, uh, but I'm not sure I can. The baseball encyclopedia wasn't published until 1969.